mini albums and welcome to the June edition of the 2023 Crafty Goals collab. This is all about using what you have in your stash or whatever your crafty goals happen to be. For me, that is my number one crafty goal is using what I have. Did I accomplish that? Or did I add to my stash more than I used it? I'll let you know in a little bit. First, let me tell you that this collab is open to anyone. If you use the hashtag, hashtag Crafty Goals 2023 uh, in your video or Instagram or whatever you post on and let us know what your Crafty Goals are. We post on the first of each month at any time. So you'll see the videos popping up throughout the day. And these are the lovely ladies at this point who are involved in this Crafty Goal collab. Now, I also am putting it out starting this month in June uh, that if anyone else wants to join the collab, just let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. The reason I put it out in June is because this is the time of year that people start heating up with Christmas in July trying to get things done for the end of the year. Halloween is coming, Christmas, uh, all the other holidays at the end of the year are coming. And if you feel like, oh my gosh, how am I going to get it all done and you need to make a plan? Well, you can join the collab. Even if you don't have a plan right now, you can join and let us know what it is you want to accomplish. And just by posting once a month on the first of the month, it will help you have some accountability. Of course, if you don't accomplish what you said, nobody's going to come and steal your craft paper. So you'll be okay. So let me tell you what I have and haven't accomplished for the month of May. Um, let me back up a little bit and uh, sort of introduce myself to those who are or not familiar with me. Um, my name is Debbie. I live and travel in my RV and... Uh, besides enjoying seeing the sights of what this country has to show us, I also craft in my RV. I do post, I'm looking for my travel journal. I don't, I don't put this um, out there for public knowledge, but I do journal. It's gotten quite heavy. I've traveled a lot. I mean, when you live in an RV, you, you travel. Um, I do put it in some form of fashion of where I go and what we do. Um, and one of the things I wanted to do is make a tutorial for this travel journal because a lot of people have said they want to do the same. Even if you don't travel, uh, you still might want a journal. So that was one of my crafty goals. Um, I had a lot going on in May and not so much coming up in June, which is great because now I can get caught up. Let's go back to May. So May, um, I had several videos I needed to make and several projects that were on my list of things to do. I did not work on the All-American project that I wanted to, so that is put on for another day. and. I do keep track of what my goals are. And that brings me to another. So my goals. Use my stash as my number one annual goal. These go throughout the year. Effective social media is my number two goal. And what that means is I want to make sure I post regularly and answer comments. And number three is I want to beat last year's numbers on my Etsy shop. I don't I don't need to make a million dollars on my Etsy shop. It really is a way for me to um, sell the items I make and um, pay for my hobby, so to speak. So I just want to make sure that I am not ignoring that. huh? Um, and then I have some uh, other goals for the year. And my goal in the first quarter was a spring refresh and update SEO and also to go explore and go have fun and do all sorts of things. So did I accomplish those goals? Use my stash. So the way I keep track of that is, did I bring in more than I purchased? This month I did. I think last month, or, or for May I did. Um, May I used more than I purchased. 
I'm sorry, in April I used more than I purchased. In May I purchased more than I used. So I did have six new collections and that includes design team collections coming in and then a couple of things I purchased. And out of that I used five. And when I say I used, I mean I completely used the whole paper pack and don't have anything left. So I will make cards or little mini albums or whatever with what is left. So not only am I doing like one major project, but I might do two, three, four, five, or six smaller projects until my stash is all gone. So there is a lot to go into that. And the couple of things that I did make and post a video on, this was from my stash. Um, you may remember in uh, March, I made um, Life's a Bowl of Cherries mini album, and it was a really major project. It had a six part tutorial. The, the paper is fabulous, but I still had some paper left and I made these couple of little, um, this could be a recipe book or whatever. So I made a couple of mini albums using the stash. These will be in the Etsy shop. My husband takes my pictures and he's been real busy. So he hasn't taken pictures lately, but soon, soon they will be in. And I have been asked to do a tutorial on that. And if I have enough paper in my stash, if I ever complete a project this month, I will uh, make a small, quick tutorial. Uh, this is a tutorial I made that I put in my Etsy shop. I usually don't do that, but lately these tutorials, this is the one I use. This is the one I made and just did a quick tutorial on. It's using the Graphic 45 travel notebook, travel journal, I forget what they call it. Um, and just it's cutting the paper using nature notebook paper from Graphic 45. So you too can make a, um, a journal or whatever you want it to be. And I know it's simple and a lot of people can do it themselves, but a lot of people want the cutting measurements. And if I'm going to sit and take the time to do the cutting measurements, which takes a lot of time, then um, I put it for a real reduced rate on my Etsy shop. So if you're interested, go check that out. Um, effective social media. So I really did not, uh, I sort of slacked in that. I only put out six videos um, and only four Instagram posts. And when I say that, that's only on my Project 39 Design Instagram page. I also have a travel Instagram page, which is getting underscore there. Um, if you want to see where I am, what I do, where I go and why I'm so busy that I haven't had any time to play with paper. Um, so there are some videos and posts that I did for the month, but not quite to what I wanted to do. And also the most important part of social media is responding to comments. And I, I've been pretty good this past couple of weeks. It's been within three days, which is slow for me. I try to do it that day. But if somebody asks about a particular measurement of a particular page, of a particular project, it takes me a long time to get back to them because I have to get my husband to get the items out of our storage, which is in a loft in our RV, and it just doesn't happen that quickly. You know, I hate to hate to bug him if he's um, he does work camping, so he works around the campground we're in, gives him something to do, keeps him out of the RV so I can make videos um, and it's something he enjoys. So anyhow, if he's been working hard, then I hate to bug him. So there, I know there's one who asked uh, about a measurement and I haven't gotten back to her, but besides that, I've been pretty good. And then beat last year. So with a retail background, it's always about beating last year. And this is my Etsy shop. My orders are down 44%, which sounds horrific, but generally this time of year, it's slow anyhow. My visits were up 46%. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with uh, checking out this tutorial. And I mentioned my Etsy shop more than I did before. And my revenue is down 60%. It's not the end of the world. But part of that is equal to part of this. If I posted more on social media, like did more Facebook posts and um, talked about my Etsy shop, then I would... Uh, these numbers would be better.
but that's just how it goes. Uh, my quarterly goals, I didn't write anything down. Really what I'm working on is to uh, these goals. I really don't have anything special. Starting in July, I will have goals for uh, Halloween projects, but I don't have them yet. I'm, I'm just right now working on this. So I don't have any quarterly goals that I established for this quarter. So that's what I have. Uh, here is my to-do list. I did the whole video. I did the travel album tutorial. I did thank you cards I needed to send to people. I updated my paper list. It's on computer. I haven't printed it out because it's an ongoing thing. You know, this is the what I have in stash. And then when I use something, then I get to cross it off and take it off the list. And I just keep track of what I have. So I look at this and say, okay, what am I going to work on next? Well, what I'm going to work on next are the things that I just purchased. That's what I'm going to work on next. Um, send from laptop to Mac. Oh, I needed to update. I got a new computer. Revised list for goals. Oh, that's that. Same thing. Um, not too shabby calendar. I just needed to... Um, it's a design team that my last month is June. So I have a couple of videos coming up and I have completed that. When I get my design team projects, uh, papers or stamps or whatever it is, I like to work on them very quickly because I don't want anything to happen and I am not able to fulfill my design team commitment. So I that's all done. Um, a Strawberries Traveler's Notebook, I have done it. I haven't done a video on and life's a bowl of cherries tags. I wanted to make some tags. I actually made some other projects out of it. And then this is what I'm working on for um, June. Did I write it down? I did. Um, these are the papers that I got. I'll tell you what they were, but if you want, you can check out my whole video. 49 in Market Plum Grove, 49 in Market Curator's Meadow, Graphic 45, Make a Splash, and Graphic 45, P.S. I Love You. All those papers are fabulous. You have to check out my stash, uh, my haul video. Um, for June, so what's going on in June? Well, today's my birthday, so not much today. Uh, we're exploring today. My husband uh, smoked a meatloaf and um, made an angel food cake. So we're just hanging around the campfire for a change. We really really don't do that very much. And then the projects from this month, I need to place my order for Country Craft Creations for my design team project. I'm waiting for information about a hop and once I get that, I'll place my order. Um, then I need to do my design team project. I am working on a tutorial with the 49 and Market Plum Grove. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you realize tutorials can take a lot of time if you stop and write it. So, so far it's been a week and I haven't even finished page one. I mean, I finished making the book, writing all of the measurements, taking pictures, documenting it, verifying it for making the book and then making the pages and the hinge and all that. And that, that took a good part of a week. I, I mean, cause I'm not going to sit there at my uh, desk for, 10 hours a day working on a tutorial when it's beautiful and I can go out and play. Um, so it's taking a long time, but I am working on a big tutorial using the Plum Grove collection. After I finish that, if I have any scraps left, I'm going to make a recipe album tutorial. Um, you know, like, like this size book. And it doesn't have to be a recipe album. It could be just a little album when I made one of course somebody says oh make a tutorial on that and it's it's a cute little quick little project so I don't mind doing that if I have enough stash I don't know if I will if not the next project if I have stash and I want to work on the PS I love you um, somebody wants a anniversary album and I thought that paper would work perfect for that so I will be working on that so I'm going to stick with my annual goals of using my stash. But here's a question. I, I used, what did I say, four, five collections? Five collections. 
and I recycle a lot of paper and I throw out things that I can't recycle. I try to recycle. Why do I have so many of these cellophane bags in my trash if I didn't use that much? I want to know that. Um, in addition, I have this one. Um, I had made a graduation mini album and uh, was asked to make another one. I usually don't do custom, but it was my sister-in-law, so I did. So she sent me some papers um, to make it, so I made that. And I also did use the Times and Seasons collection. I don't remember if I did a video on that. That's all I have left of it. Um, it came with an Echo Park um, uh, surprise mystery box, and there wasn't a cover sheet. They just gave me this. But anyhow, that is the mystery now is why do I have so many plastic sleeves when I didn't feel like I used up that much of my stash? Um, effective social media. I'm just going to keep on doing what I'm doing. Try to increase mine. Let's say 10 videos. 10 Insta posts. Let, let's say that. And then uh, Beat Last Year, I don't know if you know, but I have a big sale going on on Etsy. A lot of my older collections and older projects are listed for sale. Some at 50%, some at 40%. So big sale on Etsy. And I will get the new items listed as soon as I can, as well as the tutorial for Nature Notebook travel album. And quarterly goals, right now I'm, I'm just working on that. So that is really it. That is what I have for you as far as my Crafty Goals collab. Don't forget to check out the other fabulous goal setters in the group. Each one is really knocking it out of the park. I'm really impressed with what they're doing. They're happy because they're being held accountable. I mean, if you check out um, Biddy Penny's video, she has stuff going on all the time. Um, Letty has fabulous videos on smashing her stash. Michelle, both Michelles are doing really great stuff. I, I follow um, East Bay Stamp Chick on Instagram and I love what she does. And even though Michelle, a creative operations, was not feeling well, she really um, has some fabulous goals going on. And Carolyn, hopefully you're, you're doing okay and we'll post some goals for this month. And if not, we still love you and we'll see you next month. And that's what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed Crafty Goals for my goals for May and my goal setting for June. Check with me next month and let's see if I finish the things that I said I was going to finish and where we are. So thanks again for watching. Have a fabulous day.